Hey everyone, just wanted to shoot a quick video. We just wrapped up in clinic today. I had a patient come in uh, today, a new patient who had severe wrist pain. I know you get a lot of patients like that. Mm -hmm. uh, most patients, if they've tried to Google it and self-diagnose themselves before they come to my office, they figure it's carpal tunnel, but there's also a good chance if they went and saw a medical doctor, they commonly will diagnose that wrist pain as carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, but they come into our pain, and if you have if they have this type of wrist pain, it can be quite debilitating. It can affect your uh, quality of sleep at night. It can affect your efficiency and your productivity at work. And really, simple daily activities that you normally do become a big struggle. And I know you see a lot of that with your patients as well. Yep, and they complain of simple things like trying to carry a laundry basket up the stairs being very difficult. But, you know, this wrist pain, they complain also of numbness singling into the hands. The pain can also radiate right up into the elbow. And those are two entrapment sites as well. Well, yeah. that the nerve can be entrapped. Yeah. Um, sometimes they have other symptoms that could be um, as scary as dropping things without actually mentally wanting to drop things. Their hand just loses total control. Like unfortunately sometimes it's a glass of water. Yeah which yeah, makes perfect. a big scene. So listen it can be it can be uh, it can affect your life. So but one of the most overlooked sources of wrist pain or quote unquote carpal tunnel syndrome is damage or interference to the nerve roots coming from the neck. Uh, just like your patients, my patients, I would say 80% of them work a sedentary lifestyle. They work 40 to 60 hours a week at their desk and computer in this position, and it's causing chronic damage to their, their neck and the nerve roots that come from the neck. Add to that cell phone use, I'd say yeah. maybe 90 or 95% of our patients have cell phones, and yeah. how many of them are on social media with their head down, putting massive stress in the same area. Yeah, so we definitely live in a tech age, and all of this has a, a, an cumulative effect on the spine and is affecting the nerves that go down in the arms and hands. So let me show you exactly how it looks on an x-ray. So if you take a look here, um, this is someone's neck. So for example, this is their jaw, that's their skull, this is their spine, and if you look at the top part of their spine, that vertebrae there actually looks okay. And if you look at the disc, it's nice and fat, um, that's how it should be. Uh, but when you actually go down to the lower part of the neck, it actually looks really fuzzy there. So what's happening is there's a lot of disc degeneration. You can see how there's a lot of spikes coming off the vertebrae that you don't see up here. Those are called osteophytes, which is basically calcific uh, deposits on the spine. Um, but basically what you're looking at there is arthritis. And all of that damage is putting pressure, and I'm not even talking about the alignment, we're just talking about the actual vertebrae, but all of that's putting pressure on the spinal cord. The nerve roots that come out at those levels um, are being irritated or interfered with. And those are the nerve roots that go right out the neck, they go into the shoulder, they go down into the arms, hands, and fingers. And uh, that's what can cause you all of those symptoms of wrist pain, numbness, and tingling. Well, something else that is sometimes overlooked too is it could be a nutritional deficiency. We 100%. talked earlier that it could be a B6 deficiency or a zinc deficiency, so you wanna take a closer look at that. Um, and then if it's not that, you may even wanna look at getting heavy metal toxicity test. Yeah, and if that's the case, then a, a simple heavy metal detox program might be in order. Uh, but the important thing is look at these uh, potential sources of the problem before just you know, accepting that carpal tunnel diagnosis and then jumping into some sort of medication or even getting in line for surgery because uh, in the medical world, a lot of these carpal tunnel syndrome cases are misdiagnosed. A lot of people are taking medications and even are in line for surgery when it's not actually necessary. The other thing is take action now. If you're dealing with these symptoms, don't wait. If you wait even as many as four to six weeks, you just let a very simple acute problem turn into a chronic one and then you just prolong your recovery. We talked about this patient. Um, he's been dealing with it for many years and he's been doing everything about the symptom and not finding the underlying problem. And so of course the symptom kept showing back up to the point where he landed himself in our office and now his degeneration on his neck is is into phase three. Yeah, so I hope you find this helpful. If you are dealing with these type of symptoms, take action now, that's the point. Figure out what the exact source is. Uh, take a conservative approach first. And uh, anything else you wanna add? Have an awesome day. Yeah, we'll see you later.